Well, hello everyone again. Had somebody ask me to do a video on this machine here, the Hypotherm 65. Um, it's a pretty good plasma cutter. I've used it quite a bit. I've had it two years now and I've been wanting to do a video and this one might not be quite as good as I want to do, but our welding shop in town didn't have the scraps that I needed to go about it. Um, got my pressure regulator on the back. I've got it regulated to 130 some pounds. Um, just so the air compressor fits out too much and there is a little thing right there and it's glass and it's only rated for 135 pounds and I don't want to break it. So I just put that on there with another air dryer to help keep the moisture out. And we're going to do a little little video here on the capabilities of this machine. I've got um, a tape measure. I've got some light stuff um, right there, you know, just like quarter inch or whatever. And then I've got a little bit thicker stuff right there. And then this stuff's about half inch or a little over half an inch. And I'll kind of measure these maybe as I go to. Got a leaf spring and it's at three quarters of an inch. And then we've got this piece here that is an inch thick. The welding shop didn't have any thicker, so I guess an inch is as thick as we can go. So I'm gonna try to get the camera set up and we'll get started here and see how see how I can get this done. All right, well this piece of steel here we're gonna start with is just quarter inch. Um, just start it up here. I don't know if you guys can see how it's a pretty clean cut. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of dross on either side. Um, but doing it freehand is about as good as I can do it. Got this piece of steel. About a half an inch thick. I hope it'll ground it's so dirty. That's a half inch thick. That's awful clean. Rusty. Okay, well I had a visitor there. Uh, this next piece that I'm going to cut, it's three quarter inch. I'll measure it once we get it done to show you how thick it is or whatever, but um, I might actually try to cut it the long way and make like an L so it shows it better. There's that piece of steel I cut roughly four and a half inches and then whatever out here we got. And it's three quarter inch, about an inch with the dross on the back, but I'll show you here. It trips right off. No. Well, I guess it doesn't chip right off on this piece, but anyhow, not a bad cut. You can clean that up with a grinder pretty easy. On to the onto the inch piece that I've got. And I think I'm gonna have to clamp it down. I can't it anyway.
All right, I have no, I didn't, I didn't focus there. This piece is inch thick and it is about four and a half inches wide. We'll see how this goes. Here's the cut on inch. Um, I'll measure it across for you. Four and a three quarter, roughly, or whatever. And then it is inch thick material. Oops. Not the best lighting in here, but it's got a little dross on the back, but the cut is fairly good. And I could have cut it a lot smoother. If I would have gone a little slower and had a straight edge, but I just, you know, was freehand in it. So anyhow, uh, my conclusion on this to answer the person's question on if I thought the 65 is big enough. The 65 is definitely big enough to do most jobs. And it will obviously cut inch. Inch material. Uh, fairly clean. But I would not want to do it a lot just because of the time. And I think the extra little ump that you get with the 85 might be worth it. But you'll have to, I guess you can look and see how long it took me to cut that four and a half inches. And I guess use your own judgment. But I mean, it's all shot live. I'm not going to probably edit much on this just because of people claim trickery. I'd say three quarters. I'd be very comfortable cutting a lot of three quarters with this which is right there, that's three quarters. But the inch, cutting a very much big amount of that is very questionable. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Um, any more questions on the plasma cutter, anybody or whatever, I'll uh, try to do some more videos if you want me to. Um, I guess I forgot to cut that piece up, but we'll leave that one for a different day. But thank you, goodbye.